What's up guys, Filterless here. Today we're going to be comparing RIS, which is right on image sharpening with it being on versus off. This is at 1080p and on the left we have it on. If you look at the rock textures, they're a lot clearer than on the right. And this is at 1080p. So this is just turning RIS on and there's no performance hit. And here you can see another shot. If you look on the left, it looks so much better than on the right. In my opinion, it's a lot sharper. And RIS is something that you can just toggle on and leave on and works at all resolutions. So 720, 1080, you want to hook it up to a monitor at 4K, it'll still be working. And here's another shot just looking at the rock detail. You can see this is quite a bit sharper and you can adjust the sharpness. So I'll have timestamps down below of how you can turn this feature on and then also go into the AMD control panel and adjust the level of sharpness that you would want. In here it's a little harder to tell but if you look at kind of like the top of the tree and the tree itself you can definitely see it's just a bit sharper and RIS is what I personally use on all of my AMD based laptops as well as the ROG Ally. It's one of my favorite features and you can just toggle it on, leave it and it always works. And here's one more quick shot, a little harder to tell, but it is clear on the left, just slightly more detail. And YouTube is taking out a lot of the detail. I've noticed that. So when you're seeing it on the system itself, it's more noticeable than what you're going to see in this video. Same shot here. You can see, especially in the background where the island's at, you can kind of see a lot more detail, a bit sharper. And in this video, we're going to be comparing RSR at 720 against RIS at 720. But these were just 1080p shots to show you if you're at 1080p what it does all right and to get started we're going to be doing bioshock infinite and i want to freeze on these candles right at the beginning so we can take a look and you can see on the left it's a bit of a smoother image however with the clarity on the right with ris i think it does look a bit better being sharper all right another spot i wanted to freeze on is right here so we can look at the guys in the background once again you can see the differences in clarity especially if you look at the water fountain way back there definitely a difference in sharpness at least and as we go ahead and approach that water fountain you can just see some video of each of them and right now we're getting about 105 fps and 95 on the left 46 for the 1% lows on the right, 41 on the left, and then 30 for the 0.1% lows with RIS versus 37. However, that is kind of within margin of error there. The 0.1% lows aren't as accurate. And wrapping this benchmark up, it looks like we're at about 115 on the right with 46 for the 1% lows, 33 for the 0.1% lows. And on the left with RSR, we got 105 for the average, 42 for the 1%, and 37 for the 0.1% lows. All right, next up, we got Metro Exodus. Same thing, we got RSR 720p on the left and RIS 720p on the right. As you can see with this game as well, we are getting a pretty decent difference in the FPS department. All right, and I wanted to freeze it right here for a second. And as you can see on the right, it's just slightly clear, like it's a noticeable difference and you might not prefer it to be that sharp. And that's what's so great about RIS. You can adjust it. You can also adjust it with RSR. RSR is set to the default 75% sharpness. RIS is set to the default 80% sharpness and all of these. So just default settings, if you're just to enable them and not mess with anything, these are the kind of results you'd be getting. All right, and I wanted to get one last little free shot in here right here you can see on the right versus the left i definitely prefer just the image quality and the extra bit of sharpness on the right with ris all right and so wrapping up the metro exodus benchmark we got around 79 fps on the right 46 for the one percent lows and 45 for the 0.1 percent lows and on the left with rsr we did lose a bit of performance only getting 72 for the average 43 for the one percent However, we still get 40 for the 0.1%, so that's pretty decent. Not too big of a difference there, but we are losing a bit of performance. And as one last fun test, I'm gonna swap the right image over to 1080p RAS. So we'll swap that over right now, and you can see how much sharper that is. So here we'll go back to 720p RAS right now, and then we'll go back to 1080p RAS right now. And you can see just how much clearer that is. I ran all these benchmarks with 1080p RIS and I have even more games, but my videos just keep getting too long to throw them in there. So if y'all want 30, 40 minute videos, you'd let me know down in the comments. All right, so we got the cyberpunk benchmark going now. And if you look at the top left, the overlay, 
or the left side, you'll see it's darker. When you turn RSR on and it's working, it actually darkens the default monitoring in Asus, which is kind of weird. So we'll go ahead and freeze right here. And as you can see, especially if you look at the background with the refrigerator, the bottles and things like that, it's much clearer. It looks a lot better in my opinion with RIS than RSR. So even at 720, which this actually surprised me when I started comparing these side by side, that RIS looks better. I think overall RIS is probably a better option for most people. And just for fun, I'm going to throw 1080p RIS on the right. So just take a look at this and look how much sharper even this is compared to 720p RSR. And so we'll switch it right now. And as you can see, that's insane. It looks so good. And we'll switch it back to 720p RIS right now. And then we'll switch it back one more time to 1080p RIS right now. And that is just amazing how good that actually looks. Because 720p RSR is supposed to be upscaling to 1080. But as you can see, running 1080p RIS is awesome. All right, then finishing up the benchmark, we're at 48 on the right RIS with 24 1% lows, 15 for the 0.1% lows. And on the left, we're at 44, 20, and 12. So it's just a slight increase in performance but it definitely is there in pretty much every game I've tested. All right, so wrapping things up, I put a chart together of some of the games I've tested with 720p RSR against 720p RAS. So these are all at 720. And as you can see in Red Dead Redemption 2, we're getting slightly higher 1% from 39 to 43 with using our RIS. And we're going from 10 for the 0.1 to 30. In Metro, it's really close actually, but the, the averages, the 0.1s, all of those are just slightly better. And that's kind of a trend across the board even in cyberpunk we went from 20 to 24 for the one percent the averages are higher and the 0.1 percent lows so you can see it's a small performance hit i would say it's roughly about five percent on average or so of a performance hit and then in some games that can climb up to even 20% or so. I would say to summarize it all up, RIS at 720 is the better option and at 1080, it's a free, no performance hit. You can leave it on, makes your image look sharper no matter what you're doing. If you plug an external monitor in, you're good to go at 1440p. It doesn't matter. You can run your native resolution or lower resolution. You don't have to worry about trying to get it to work like you do with RSR. So RIS, I would say is the way to go. Now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I'll show you how to get it set up. All right, guys, so the first step I'm going to show you is how to get this in command center. As you can see, we have an option here that we can turn on and off. So the first thing you are going to do is hit your armory crate button right here. And once you hit that, it's going to bring up armory crate. You're going to head over to settings here. And then on the right, you're going to want to click a blank space where you can add. It will bring up this menu where you can see all of your options. If you scroll down, AMD RAS should be down there. So you just click on that to open it. And now you'll have it in that command center option. So when we come over here and we press command center, you can see now it's down there. And then we can even just press A to toggle it on and off. Next, to adjust the sharpening, we can open up the AMD software down here by double clicking on this and it should open it. Or as always, you can type in AMD to your start menu and click here to open it as well. If you don't see any of these options right here, just make sure you click the gear icon up here. Then we're gonna click on graphics and we're gonna scroll down past the radon super resolution. And right here you'll see image, radon image sharpening. You're going to toggle this on and then here's your slider. So you can just adjust this in 10% increments to get that sharpness level you like. I personally just leave it at 80. However, adjust this how you would like it. And if you don't even want to adjust it, you like the way it looks, then you don't even need to open up the control panel. You can just click on the armory crate button and toggle it on here and just leave it on and enjoy it at 80%. That's what I do. Anyway, guys, I hope this video provides some value for you. If you did get some value, make sure to hit the sub, hit the like, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.